Creating thumbnails in Canva is simple. With countless templates for you to choose from, the possibilities are endless. But in this video, I'll show you how to create my custom thumbnails so you can break away from templates and start designing something your viewers will click on. Now, before we jump in, if you don't have a Canva account, you can create one for free at the link in the description down below. With that out of the way, come to create a design and select on YouTube thumbnail. This will create an artboard at 1280 by 720. Once that loads, you'll be presented with all these templates. Now you could just pick one of these and run with it, but you're better than that, my friends. So let's get custom with it. First, let's add a background color. To do that, select your artboard and click on background color. Then add a new color and pick something from the color picker, or you can add a custom hex code. In this case, I'll add my own custom code. Now I wanna make sure all the important elements stay visible. So I'll add in a safe margin. To do that, come to File and select Margins from the drop-down menu. Now you'll see a faint box around your canvas. Keep all important copy and graphic elements in this space. I'll then add in my video title. Now remember guys, keep the video title short and sweet. Less is more when it comes to competing with others on YouTube. To add in text, I'll come to the toolbar and click on Text. And just like the templates we saw previously, Canva gives you a lot of options for you to choose from. But for now, I'll just select on add a heading. You'll then see some placeholder copy show up. To change the font, just double click and highlight everything and select the font by coming to your text toolbar. From here, you can browse through all the fonts until you find something you like. In this instance, I'm gonna choose this font and I'll add in my copy and then I'll just adjust the placement. Once I have that in place, I'll change the font color by selecting everything and coming to text color. Again, you can just pick something from the color picker or you can use a custom hex code. Next up, I wanna add in the Canva logo. Now, depending on your audience and the topic, adding a logo based on your video content can help users convert to your video. So just keep that in mind next time. To add in a logo, all I have to do is come to my toolbar and select uploads. Then select upload media. From there, I would locate the logo I wanted to use, but in my case, I'm creating a thumbnail about Canva. So I'll just search for the logo in the elements tab. Once I have that in my canvas, I'll resize by selecting any of the four handles. Just select one and hold down shift so it scales proportionally. Then drag up or down so you're happy with the size. Now in this example, I'm going to be focusing on Canva teams. So I want the main focal point to be on the platform itself. So I'll first need a screenshot of the Canva dashboard. I'll then upload it as I would any other graphic image or asset and then adjust the size and proportion. With that in place, I'm gonna wanna create some sort of separation from the background. So I'll add in a white stroke around the screenshot. But unfortunately, Canva has no stroke option at this time for images, but we can fake it. To do so, I'll select an image and come to edit image and click on shadows. Then I'll select glow and click on this little setting icon and then I'll turn the blur all the way down. Then I'll turn the transparency all the way up and adjust the size. Once I have the outline size to where I like it, I'll change the color to white and then I'll hit apply. Now I'm gonna wanna add in some floating elements. In this case, it's gonna be a user profile. So I'll create a frame and then I'll just add the image into it. To add a frame, I'll come to my toolbar and search frame. Then I'll choose the basic circle and add that in. I'll then come to my uploads and drag that into my frame. Then I'll adjust the size and the placement. Now, because this image is not really high resolution enough, the same trick we just did to create an outline will not work so well in this instance. So I'll just add in a basic circle from the elements tab, and then I'll adjust the size and the color. Then I'll shove that behind the user profile. But wait, there's more. Let's add in a shadow. I just searched for blur circle in the elements tab and I select this guy and I just changed the color to a grayish black and lowered the opacity till I was happy. Then I send that element to the back by right clicking the element and selecting send to back. Now that I have that little profile done, I'm going to upload a third party arrow that I found online as the options for Canva didn't really fit the bill. Now I'm going to add in the last profile image like I just showed you before, but I'll just speed up the process. Once I have that in place, it's time to add in the last element to help balance the overall design. I'll come to the elements tab yet again and search frame. 
I'll then pick this one and upload and place the image into the frame. Now again, Canva does not allow me to add a drop shadow, so I'll have to do a workaround. To add a shadow to a rectangle, come to your elements tab and search black square shadow. I'll then add it to my canvas and lower the opacity by coming to the transparency option at the top. I'll then lower it to about 45% and then I'll duplicate it again and group them by hitting Command G on my keyboard. Once I have that grouped together, I'll position it and then I'll send it to the back. Lastly, I'll create a text box around this section of the screenshot to add some visual interest and to show activity amongst the different team members. To start, I'm going to come to my toolbar and select elements and then I'll search for line. I'll choose this standard line and add it to my canvas. I'll then make the line thinner by coming to the top and selecting the line weight. I'll go with around two points and adjust the size and the placement. I'm going to now duplicate that line three more times to create a box. That looks good to me, so now I just need to add the handles to this box to really make it look like a, a text box. To do that, I'll come to the elements tab and I'll search for circle. I'll then add that and adjust the size and the placement. With that first ball in place, I'll then duplicate it three more times and then I'll just add it to the corners. The last element I'll add are the two larger handles on the left and on the right. So I'll come to the elements tab and search for a button and then I'll go with this guy. Then I'll adjust it, scale it down and move it into place. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is one way to create a thumbnail in Canva. Now I really suggest you look into your YouTube analytics before creating your next thumbnail. That data will provide you with some insights into your viewers. So stop second guessing yourself guys, look into your YouTube analytics and start designing thumbnails that'll convert today.